Hi, I'm Seamless, and today is Friday, which means it's time for a new how to base tutorial. And today, I'm going to show you how to steal Christmas. Step number one, get the manual. How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. It's important to reference successful artists for this kind of thing. For Teddy Owens. Every Who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. The Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. But I think the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his heart hurt his shoes. He stood there on Christmas Eve, hating the Who's, staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm-lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every Who down in Whoville beneath was busy now, hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings, he saw with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas, it's practically here. Then he growled with his Grinch fingers nervously drumming, I must find a way to stop Christmas from coming, for he tomorrow, he knew. All the Who girls and boys... They would rake bright and early. They'd rush for the toys and then, oh, the noise. Oh, the noise. Noise, noise, noise. And the one thing he hated. That's the one thing he hated. The noise. Noise, noise. Not a fan of noise. Then the Who's, young and old, would sit down to a feast. And they'd feast. And they'd feast. And they'd feast, 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 feast. They would feast on Who pudding and the rare Who roast beast. Which, something the Grinch couldn't stand in the least. I don't know, man. Roast beast sounds pretty sweet. And then they did something he liked least of all. For every Who and Whoville, down in Whoville, the tall and the small would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. It stand hand in hand. And the Who's would start singing. And they'd sing, and they'd sing, and they'd sing, 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 sing. And the more the Grinch thought of this Who Christmas sing, the more the Grinch thought, I must stop this whole thing. Why, for 53 years I put up with it now, I must stop this Christmas from coming. But how? And he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do, the Grinch laughed in his throat, and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. He chuckled and clocked, what a great Grinchy trick. This, With this coat and this hat, I look just like St. Nick. And all I need is a reindeer, the Grinch looked around. But since the reindeer are scarce, there was none to be found. Did that stop the Grinch? No, the Grinch simply said, if I, if I can't find a gap guy, if I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. I like to think that's how he said it. So he called his dog, Max, and he took some red thread and he tied a big horn on the top of his head. Then he loaded some bags, some old empty sacks on the ramshackle sleigh, and he hitched up old Max. And the Grinch said, Gadap. And the sleigh started down toward the homes where the Who's lay a snooze in their town. All the Who windows, all the windows were dark, quiet snow filled the air. All the Who's were all dreaming sweet, man, that's a lot of alls. All the Who's were all dreaming sweet dreams without care. When he came to the first little house in the square, this is top number one, the old Grinchy Claws hissed, and he climbed to the roof, empty bags in his fist. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch, but if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a moment or two, then he stuck his head out of the fireplace, flew, where the little who stockings all hung in a row. These stockings, he grinned, are the first things to go. He then slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room as he took every present. Pop guns and bicycles, roller skates, drums, all oh, drums, checkers, tricycles, popcorns, and plums. Uh, plums. He stuffed them in bags, and the Grinch very nimbly stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimney. Then he slunk to the icebox. He took the Who's feast. He took the Who pinning. He took the roast beast. He cleaned up the icebox as quick as a flash. Why, that Grinch even took the last can of Who hash. And he stuffed all the food up the chimney with a glee. And now, grinned the Grinch, I'll stuff up the tree. And the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shove when he heard a small sound like a coo of a dove. He turned around fast and he saw a small who, little Cindy Lou who, who was not more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this tiny who daughter who had not been out of, who got out of bed for a cup of cold water. She stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking a Christmas tree? Why? But you know, that old Grinch was so smart and so slick. He thought up a lie and he thought it up quick. Why am I sitting little taut? The fake Santa Claus lied. There's a light on this tree that won't bite on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there and bring it back here. His fib fooled the child and he patted her on the head. He got her a drink and sent her to bed. And then when some little who went back with her cup, he was in the chimney and stuffed the tree up. And the last thing he took, the log for their fire. When Then he went up the chimney himself, the old liar. 
on the walls. He left nothing but hooks and some wire. And one, the one speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. Then he did the same thing to the other whose houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other whose mouses. It was quarter past dawn. All the who's still a bed. All the who's still a snooze. When he packed up his sled. Pack it up with their presents, the rhythms, the wrappings, blah, 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 blah. the tags, all the tinsel, the trimmings, and trappings. 3,000 feet up on the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the top to, to tip top to dump it. Poo poo to the who's, he was aggrandously coming. They'll find a w- out, yeah, they're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up, I know just what they'll do, their mouths will hang open for a minute or two. <sighs> then the who's down in Whoville will all cry, boo hoo. That's a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I simply must hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put his hand to his ear, and he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started low, and then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. The sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so, but it was merry, very. He started down. He stared down at Whoville. The Grinch popped his eyes, and he shook. He saw what a shocking, what he saw was a shocking surprise. For every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presence at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet as cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without rhythms, ribbons, bibbins. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled three hours till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas perhaps means just a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light. Wow. And he brought back the toys and the food for the feast. And he, he himself, the Grinch carved the roast beast. It's a good thing to reference professional work for when you're wanting to do something yourself. However, it's important to keep in mind that just because a professional artist such as the Grinch did something a particular way, that it actually does not mean that it's the best way to do it. I have to imagine that if you want to actually steal Christmas, you don't give it back at the end. But that's up to you, one way or the other. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all the good stuff. And as usual, Merry Christmas.